Hello viewers I am Deepa Nair I teach English literature in Sri Ayappa College for Women which is under the Manon Maniam Sundarnar University Tirunelveli This lecture is on the origin and evolution of drama in India But before I talk about the history of drama in India we need to discuss the three words drama play theater are they all one and the same can they be used interchangeably do they have different meanings the answer to these questions is the three words have different meanings they may not be used interchangeably they are not one and the same so i shall begin by talking about drama first Drama is the return or printed script of a performance meant to be acted on stage in front of a live audience. The play or the performance of the written script or story will have dialogues between actors and the story is told through the actions and dialogues of the characters on a stage in front of an audience. The play is divided into scenes and acts to focus on the dramatic importance of events in the story of the play or the drama. So, the drama is the written text of actions to be performed on stage. It may or may not be performed on a stage. Then what is the play? The play is the actual performance of the written script on a stage in front of an audience coming to the third word theater theater comes from the greek word theatron meaning a place for viewing the meaning of the word theater is a place for viewing derived from the greek word theatron so then what is theater it is a performance with action dialogues gestures speech song involving actors and actresses who present a real or imagined event or an experience on a stage or in a place in front of a live audience so the particular place where the performance takes place is also known as theater a play can refer to the written script of a performance and also the actual performance of that written script on a stage with actors and actresses using dialogues speech action gesture song and dance Now that we have cleared the differences between drama, theater and play, let us move on to trace the history of drama in India and also understand the beginning of theater in India. For this, we will have to journey into ancient India. The performance of the first drama in India can be traced to 200 BCE. BCE means before common era. These dramas were written and performed in the Sanskrit and Prakrit languages. Sanskrit drama had actors who performed the role of the hero or the nayak, heroine nayika and the joker or the clown vidushak or vidushaka. The earliest reference to drama in India is in the Mahabhashya. The Mahabhashya is an explanation of certain grammatical rules taken from the works of the ancient Indian grammarians Panini and Katyayana. The Mahabhashya is a work by Patanjali, the Indian grammarian who came after Panini and Katyayana. 
He refers to dramatic performances in his explanation of certain select rules from Panini's Ashtadhyayi and Katyayana's Vartika. The Mahabhashya belongs to 140 BCE and it provides a date for the beginning of theatre in India. Bhasa is considered to be the father of Indian drama. The plays of Bhasa were called Vyayoga. These plays were recovered only in the early 20th century. But the name of Bhasa was mentioned in the plays written by writers who came after him like Kalidasa. Kalidasa, ancient India's greatest dramatist, acknowledges the role of Bhasa in the introduction to his first play, Malavika Agnimitra. Bhasa's plays do not follow the rules and principles of the Natya Shastra. Every play written in India in the post-Kalidasa period obeys the rules of the Natya Shastra. So, Bhasa wrote his plays much before the Natya Shastra was written and codified by Bharata Muni. Therefore, Bhasa is considered to be the father of Indian drama and he is said to have lived sometime in the 3rd or 4th century BC. Bhasa's important plays are Swapna Vasavadattam or Vasavadatta's dream, Karnabharam and Urbhanga. The manuscripts of 13 of his plays were recovered from an old library in Trivandrum in 1913 by Ganapati Shastri. Coming to Kalidasa. Kalidasa, who lived sometime in the 4th to 5th century common era, was ancient India's greatest dramatist. His most famous works are the three romantic plays Malavika Agnimitram or Malavika and Agnimitra, Vikram Urvashyam or Vikram and Urvashi, and Abhigyana Shakuntalam, the recognition of Shakuntala, his most famous play. One of the most famous and earliest known Sanskrit plays was Mrichakatiga, the little clay cart, written by Shudraka who came after Bhasa and before Kalidasa, sometime in the 3rd century AD. It is the story of a romance between a young man called Charudatta and a beautiful courtesan Vasantasena. Another important dramatist of ancient India is Bhavabhuti. His most important plays are Malati Madhava, Mahavira Charita and Uttara Rama Charita. Then of course we have Harsha Vardhana, the powerful emperor who ruled in northern in northwestern India and who uh, wrote three plays, the comedy Ratnavali, then Priya Darshika and the Buddhist drama Nagananda. So when we trace the beginning of drama in India, we can date it to some time from 200 BCE or a period more than 2000 years ago. The first dramas in India were written in Sanskrit and the influence of Sanskrit drama started waning from the 5th century. Now coming to theatre. Indian theatre is considered to be Asia's oldest theatre. Dramatic performance in India has existed from ancient times. The Natya Shastra attributed to sage Bharata is a Sanskrit text. It is a text on the performing arts. So, what are performing arts? Art that is created when artists use their voices, bodies or objects to express their artistic ideas, values and beliefs in front of a live audience is known as performing arts. Therefore, theatre, dance, music, 
and circus performances are all performing arts. Going back to the Natya Shastra, what exactly is the Natya Shastra? The Natya Shastra is a treatise on drama and theatre. It was compiled sometime between 200 BCE and 200 CE. It is a detailed text that deals with various aspects of performance in front of an audience. Sage Bharata, the composer of the Natya Shastra, believed that drama was the gift of gods. The existence of the Natya Shastra proves the sophistication of theatre in India. It proves the evolution and the advanced sophisticated nature of ancient Indian theatre. The influence of Sanskrit theatre started waning from the 5th century, but the ancient traditions and principles of Sanskrit theatre continued to exist and evolve through performances by generations of dancers, musicians, singers, storytellers and through the cultural traditions of folk and classical performances. It is believed that Alexander's arrival in India and the staging of Greek plays in India may definitely have influenced ancient Indian theatre. So I come to the end of the first part of my series on the origin and the evolution of drama and theatre in India. In the next module, I will be talking about the progress of the growth of Indian drama. Thank you.